Right again, just adjusting this picture and get a bit brighter, that's it. I hope that comes out okay. Um, I just wanted to come on quickly because um, <clears throat> I'll put the article on this morning. I, I shared it from another post about depression and, and I, I said how thought provoking it was and it is and obviously quite a few people have came on and left comments which is brilliant, which is what I want on this site. I want to hear what people think um, and start sharing opinions. I think it's really important though that you know, I've called this Be Skeptical. I was just over in Birmingham. Um, I've been asked to de deliver some courses on mental health in schools, which is something I've always tried to steer clear of working with children, even though I do like children. It's a different area, but um, I think it's such a big area, mental health now, and so many kids are suffering. Um, it's good to see that people are going into schools now and educating people on mental health. Um, so I'm gonna I'm taking part in that. I think my first school's over in Birmingham next week. Um, <clears throat> but it made me think about the article I put on today as well. And I was talking to a, uh, a mental health worker, and I was telling him about it. And I said, you know, for me, I can't help be skeptical sometimes. And he said, to be skeptical is a good thing in the world we live in. Um, and I was saying to him about the depression. And I remember having a, a bit of an argument actually. The doctor got really annoyed with me one day. I was at the doctor's, I think I had a chest infection, and I hate taking medication. Um, I think there's so many natural remedies out there that we don't look at. Uh, and I was saying to this doctor about it, and he said, well, you know, he got really angry and defensive. And he said, you know, people need to realise that without uh, medication, without things like antibiotics, half of us wouldn't be here now. And that really got me thinking and thought, you know what, he's got a fair point. Um, sometimes it's too easy just to be really sceptical and blow everything away. You know, I've met people that have took tablets for depression and they've said how much it's really helped them. <clears throat> the thing that worries me from a sceptical skeptical perspective, get my words out, is that um, it's when money gets involved, when the marketing people get involved, uh, then it becomes a problem because... These people are just, uh, it's all about making money, it's all about selling. One of the reasons I've worked with a few people that have had a lot to do with AA, uh, and they, they've told me that when um, the two guys who started AA, when they were first starting it, which has become a massive organisation, they do fantastic work. I love what I hear about AA, I think they're brilliant. Um, but when they were starting, they went to see some top businessmen, I think one of them might have been Warren Buffett, I might have got that wrong. Um, but obviously multi-millionaire and he, they wanted some advice of him. And one of the pieces of advice he gave them, which I thought was brilliant, he said, don't bring money into it. You know, make it a non-profit organisation. If you bring money into it, it will destroy it. So in AA, um, they don't make any, they just make enough money at their meetings apparently to cover the cost of the room and a cup of tea. You know, there's no profits or very little profits. And if it is, it all goes back into the organisation, um, which I love. And I think maybe that's the problem with when we talk about medication, <clears throat> whether it's for depression or, you know, other things. So many people are on so many different tablets. Um, and I guess the problem is being sceptical. Do people really need those tablets? Are, could they get by without those tablets? Are they only given those tablets because marketing people have got involved? Uh, and like I said, then it becomes about money. But I've also got no doubt whatsoever that the tablets, the medi medication, the antibiotics do help people as well. So it's getting that balance. It's got to be about balance. You know, personally, if I need to go to the doctors, which is very, very rare, um, you know, I'll go and I will take the medication that they give me. I know other people, I've got friends that won't touch medication. Um, but that's your choice. Um, so that's the message that I wanted to give. Sometimes it's good to be sceptical and it's good to look at why we're taking the things that we're taking. But it's also important to realise that, you know, uh, modern medicine has brought a lot of benefits to us as well. And sometimes people that are on tablets for depression, like I said, it does help people. You know, that, that whole area of depression is a massive area. What causes it? Um, you know, as a therapist, I'm very big on our thought processes cause it. Um, but when people are in that, you know, the interview that we did on here with Brian Collier, 
you know, th that guy was suffering. Um, and I'm guessing if you're telling him his thought process is a cause and it may be something that he doesn't want to, <clears throat> he doesn't want to hear when he's in the depths of his depression. Um, you know, it's a real thing. So that's the message for today. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have called it about uh, be sceptical. Maybe it's about balance, bringing balance into our life in all areas. So that's the message for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Please keep putting your feedback on here. Put your opinions on here because they are valued. And you never know, you put something on here and it helps somebody else. So thanks for listening and thanks for your feedback. Thank you.